All right, guys. Um, I always like to do a recap after uh, the games each week. You know, kind of like the day after. Because my video last night wasn't really... I didn't really go into depth that much. It was kind of just me trying to get the video out quickly. So today, I'm just going to be talking about uh, my thoughts on the game last night. The Packers lost 34-20. to 20. Uh, in my video I was recording, there was like four minutes left in the game. The game was over, so I just started recording. But last last 34 to 20, um, and it was a rough game. I mean, just to throw that out there right away, it was awful. <clears throat> Offensively and defensively, just, just absolutely horrible. We got our asses kicked. We got our asses kicked. We had nothing. We really had absolutely nothing. Um... <clears throat> The O-line didn't perform well, which is understandable because literally our two best O-linemen, Bakhtiari and Jenkins, are hurt again. And I guess we're just banged up right now. And I'm not going to blame the game on injuries, but we're banged up. And, you know, we finally get Jones back and we don't fucking use him. That's the thing that bothered me. We got Jones back and it was hyped up. Jones is back. We barely used Aaron Jones yesterday, everybody. We barely used the guy. We're giving it to A.J. Dillon, and from what I've seen this year, A.J. Dillon is not a, you know, uh, second and eight kind of running back. He's a running back you use when it's like third and three, and he hasn't shown me anything. I love A.J. Dillon. I don't want to put any disrespect toward him, but we need to use Aaron Jones while we have him. That's the biggest thing. We need to use Aaron Jones. He's so, so valuable to our our run game. We need to use him. We were using AJ. Dillon. I don't know if it's because his, you know, his hamstring was still bothering. Was it a hamstring? It was still bothering him. But we didn't use him barely at all. And when we did use him, dude got banged up. You guys saw that play. If you didn't watch the game, there was a play. We threw it right to the right. He got flipped. He basically did a backflip. We can't be doing plays like that either. It's, it also goes with the play calling that's been lately. These sideways, little dinky sideway passes, they don't work, Matt. Matt LaFleur, they don't work. And we have to do something about Joe Barry, too. Please. Please. Joe Barry is not it, and Packers fans have known that for a long time. Joe Barry is not the answer. We need something different. I don't care if he shows me something this year. I won't, I mean, I, he showed me something last year. I mean, he did the same exact thing. It's so on and off. And, I mean, I just don't get it. He's not showing us anything. Sure, we had great defensive game, you know, against the Bears, whatever. But, I mean, there's just weeks that we need the defense, and the play calling is awful. And I don't know how anybody else feels about this, but that's how I feel. And if you guys feel a different way, please give me your comments down below because I want to hear them. Because Joe Barry is not the answer in my mind. He is not the answer. And then you had the Quay Walker penalty where he jumped over the line. I don't think he, Quay Walker played phenomenal last night, by the way. This loss was not because of Quay Walker. I want to say that right now. We did not lose because of Quay Walker. Quay Walker played phenomenal last night. He just had that one penalty in the end. And by the way, we still had a chance to stop them. We still did. They were at the 10-yard line on third and goal. They run it, and they get to the one-yard line. That proves how horrible our run defense is. And I don't want to make this video shitting on the team, but that's kind of how I make these videos. I'm not shitting on them. I'm explaining my true thoughts on what I feel. I'm going to give get everything out. The run defense was awful. It was horrible last night. And you had a chance. You can't blame it on Quay Walker because they were at the 10-yard line, backed up, third and goal. They run it, get down to the one. You know damn well Dan Campbell's going to go for this. And the secondary was absolutely awful last night, besides Rudy Ford. Rudy Ford had the pick, which was pretty nice. But the secondary was nowhere to be seen. We're playing too far off our receivers. The Amon Ross St. Brown touchdown was absolutely blown coverage. Embarrassing. Rasul Douglas must have thought it was a curl route or something. He moves up. Amon Ra was gone. There was nobody. There was no safety help at all. If you watch the clip... You look at the safety, there was no safety help whatsoever. Rasul was left alone. Rasul was about maybe five steps behind Amon Ross St. Brown. Dude was wide open. 
wide open. It just goes to show, I mean, it's just, it sucks. And I know it's, I mean, it was just a bad game. Uh, I mean, it's not the end. It's not like I'm saying this is it. We're done. I'm just, it's just frustrating. I mean, it really is. I'm not being a negative fan here. I'm just, it's our true thoughts right now. I mean, it's just frustrating watching this go down every week by week. Not week by week, but like, you know, when we lose games, we don't lose them close. We lose them bad. I mean, we just got to, I don't know, man. It's just something has to be done. And I don't know. Can't blame it on injuries either because we had people. We had Watson. We had Dobbs. We had uh, we had Heath. We had Jaden Reed. We had Samore Toure. We had, uh, well, I guess the concussion, but it's a Musgrave, but that didn't really matter. Uh, but I don't know. We had Jones back. I mean, we had everyone back. The Lions defense just picked us apart completely. And, I mean, that's just basically my thoughts this week. I mean, something needs to change or this season is going to be, it's going to be a long year. I mean, after that, when you finally have a competitive game uh, like this, like a division rival competitive game, and you come play like that at home on primetime, you can't do that. You can't do that. It's just, uh, I do think we'll bounce back. I do think this team is good. We have a good team. Just last night was a very frustrating game. Very frustrating game. So, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say for this one. Um, the Lions just picked us apart. That's that's it. The Lions just picked us apart. That's really all. So, yeah, we were outplayed. We were outcoached. We were, I mean, just everything. Um, we do play the Raiders on Monday next week, so hopefully we can bounce back there. But as of right now, we are 2-2, two and two, and that's all I really have to say for this one. Thank you guys for, <laughs> for, oh, my God. Thank you guys for watching. Go Pack Go forever and always. Just a rough game last night. We will bounce back. We will bounce back. See you guys next one. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Put me, put your thoughts down below what you thought of the game last night. Um, once again, I love this team. I'm not shitting on this team. I'm not anything like that. I'm just explaining my true thoughts on the game, the coaching, everything. That's what these videos always are. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. Uh, oh my God. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>